main event was highly probably shouldn't have happened. Let's just fair enough. There. Disclaimer that, yep. but um, not an easy night for Oscar Valdez. That was a good, especially fight. early on. It was a good, real good fight, actually. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's never in a bad one. Yeah, <laughs> which which you know. Mm-hmm. Makes me still very fond of Valdez, you know, fond of all the great yeah. fighters in our sport. But, so, while, you know, <laughs> he, while I'm watching the fight, I'm not thinking about none of the outside stuff. Right. I'm in really enjoying the fight. Uh, right. Cause I was the and I was the opposite. That's what I guy. was like. I was like, yeah, I, I like I was just I was annoyed. I was you like, know, don't get it's, it's and it's not it's just it's hard, you know, part of it was still hard not to give him his props because once the like you said, once the bell rings, it's like, okay, now I'm watching the fight. Mm-hmm. And this guy, Conceicao, was so much bigger than him yeah. and was winning early. And for Valdez to go after the bigger guy when he looks like a 126-pounder fighting a 130-pounder, just give him props for that. You know, that's – that's he deserved Almost like a, he had something extra. Like, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. He's, he's now open to those kind of jokes. But yeah, well, I still give him props for, for okay, I'm down early. And then right at he the moment, he lost the first five rounds. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you could have said, yeah, he was down. Yeah, four one five zero yeah. three two or four one. Yeah. I had it, a five zero. Oh. I, yeah. I, I had it. Uh, I didn't. There was one round. I think it might have been the fifth that he landed a big shot that people maybe. Swayed and that's what maybe maybe other. he took but, that round. Right. Um, yeah, Conce Sal was Duke of Bach, but then at the foot off the gas. He was out jabbing Valdez. Oh. He was beating him, yeah. outworking him, and then he starts to showboat a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. And just like Tony Harrison versus Jermel Charlo, the rhythm and the momentum gone and it starts to go the other way Mm -hmm. and and so valdez he puts his gloves up you were talking about with the japanese fighters looking at their trainers yeah he does the reynoso canelo stuff he Mm -hmm. puts his hands up Mm -hmm. in in that canelo kind Mm -hmm. of rhythm Mm -hmm. and he starts digging Mm -hmm. and he turns the fight around Mm -hmm. he goes at he wanted it more Mm -hmm. because he was willing to keep his nose in there and 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 put on the kind of bombs that won him the fight. I know some people thought Conceicao won the fight. He outlanded him by 80 punches. Yeah. Oh, shoot. But that threw him by a lot as well. But he took a lot of snap off his shots. Even though his jab kept connecting, he took a lot of snap off his shot. It, you know, Olympic gold medalist kind of fought like one. After yeah. the first four rounds, mm-hmm. he trailed off a little bit, although he made a nice rally towards the end. Yeah. But in the heart of the fight, he just let Valdez win round after round, go after him, land the bombs to the body, land that big left hook enough and and won the fight. Now, it wasn't his most impor- impressive performance at all. Uh like Carson said, almost all the boxing world felt the fight shouldn't have even happened in the yeah. first place. But all that said, after all the deserved criticism he had, he still fought and performed like a true champion. And I can't help but give him credit for that. I I didn't like a couple of things I didn't like after the fight from him. I thought he won, and and anyone that watches knows I prefer clean boxing from the outside. But I right. still think I still think he beat Conte Sal just because he took his foot off the gas so right. much. But um, in the in the post fight press conference or the interview in the ring, a couple of things he was acting as if this was something. Oh, I had to overcome this week. I had to do, but it was like you did it. This <laughs> wasn't like this wasn't something that somebody made up a rumor or somebody did something like this was self inflicted. You did this. Deal with it. I understand it sucked, but it sucked because you had something in your system you shouldn't have. The other thing was the most, the number one most overused line in boxing. He <laughs> ran the whole fight. <laughs> yeah, because y'all didn't run. And and you're saying that no. as you have cuts above your, <laughs> yeah, your face is tore up, and yeah, he ran the whole fight. You know, I'm sorry to the fans. I couldn't. He but ran, you hear like, from the loser, right? And I'm just like, but he clearly didn't run the whole fight uh, unless his foot somehow kicked you in the face <laughs> 75 <laughs> times and cut you like that. He didn't run, but um, yeah, he get he gets the win. Um, hopefully, this is again me being optimistic. Hopefully, he never has any issues with banned substances again. Mm-hmm. He. Because he's a likable guy. You mentioned it. Tim Bradley mentioned it. After I mean, he, he has character. Up, like, you he, don't fight through the stuff he's fought through without having yeah. something. Fun fighter you know? to watch. Like, has this huge win versus Burchell. Like, outside of everything we've found out recently, he's an extremely likable fighter and somebody you'd root for. So, hopefully, he moves past it. And I'm all about giving people second chances. Yeah. But I'm going to give you second chance. That's it. That's it. So, <laughs> I can't big baby you and you keep effing up, effing up, effing up. That's your thing. And, yeah, you. Yeah, you. I'll give people a second chance. Uh-huh. And the one but positive, to, huh? but just two. Yeah, I could probably give you one. Yeah, two. So, uh, so he. This is his one chance. Yeah, that's it. It's just like you can't. If it happens again, 
Like it is. Then, it is. then none of those excuses yeah. are landing. Yeah. If, if no. this happens again, it's not a. I was drinking all these teas and and all that. So yeah. But, Hey, you know, life is about second chances. So yeah. hopefully it gets again. Yeah. He's still a young guy. I'm I've been probably the most critical of any of us, yeah. but hopefully this is it. Hopefully from now on we have no issues with this. I think most of us all had second chances in life. Yeah. And I've had five or six. Yeah. And <laughs> might might have a good fight on the horizon against the winner of Aaron and that's the one positive yeah. is that before this fight, coming off that Burchelt win, he's he he wasn't that excited or enthusiastic about fighting the winner. He wasn't. And and now he knows he has to to prove himself again. That, that's the one positive is that now I think you're going to get Valdez really head first into that fight. He's not going to try and sidestep it yeah. or not come into the fight 100%. I think this, he's it's all over again. Now he's got to prove himself all over again. Seems like to prefer Shakur. It seemed, I think he thinks Shakur is going to win. And there's been some back and forth, I think, where they kind of said, no, oh, he doesn't want to fight me. So he was saying, I want to fight the winner, but I think he's sitting there like, I hope Shakur wins. So I, didn't I, fight him. I think that'd be more money with Shakur than him. Yeah, and, and I just I think he genuinely feels Shakur is going to win the fight. Yeah. So we'll yeah, see. And Shakur's his size, more his size. Harry yeah. would be bigger than Valdez. Yeah, gets the win, though. You know, you get you get past it. Um, oh, we're not going to talk about 117-110? That was yeah. a bad card. Tim Bradley <laughs> said <laughs> that dude needs to be fired. Tim yeah. Bradley said he was on the Come payroll. Come on, man. Yeah. And I'm like, which payroll, Tim? Yeah. You know, but... And and like I mentioned, I think he won the first five rounds. I'm pretty sure that judge had him winning two of the first five rounds. Like, yeah, it was, yeah that was, was bad. I was probably, <laughs> and also, we don't have to touch on that long. The point deduction was very strange. I was there at the fight and missed it. Yeah. It That's was how like, bad it must have been. Yeah. No, it, was, it was a very odd, like, all of a sudden. Behind the head. Like, yeah, he was just. Oh, yeah, that's right. He was kind of bullshit. Like, right, right, he was right. kind of bullshit. Like, he wasn't, like, landing rabbit, but he was kind of, like, just, like, doot, doot, like, oh, just yeah. kind of tapping him. That's not even illegal. Yeah, and then like, gets a point, and the ref was just oh, like, no. Weak. Yeah, it, it was weird. Hometown point deduction there. Yeah, it seemed like it. Because Valdez hit him with something big in the left. So yeah. the ref. And think how close that, I mean, that card, the other two were 115-112. So, I mean, I mean, still would have won. It wouldn't have swayed the result, but 115-113 is a pretty damn close fight. Um, yeah. Literally as close as possible. I would have appreciated but, Reynoso taking some questions before the fight. I don't think letting his fighter take all the heat was cool. He and he tweeted. I know that. Some, yeah, that, on some, Monday. Yeah, oh, somebody sure. was critical, and it's like, oh yeah, now we're, when you're not around, all these reporters. Sure, yeah, I'm, I'm sure gonna, I'm willing to answer all these questions. <laughs> I'm sure I could give you a phone call right now, and, and you'll, you'll be, be willing like, oh, to do an interview. Sure, <laughs> please, yeah, <laughs> let me talk about banned substances. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do all it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's all right, again. just introduce yourself. Okay, and then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck, like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.